Today I'm going to talk about using Dobsonian telescopes. The Dobsonian telescope consists of two main parts. We have the black rocker box or the base at the bottom which controls the movement of the telescope and we have the optical tube which collects the light. When you're transporting the telescope make sure you use the trolley provided to move them around or if you need to carry them by hand you can just grab the optical tube and lift it straight out of the base and the base has a handle so that can be carried separately. But just make sure you don't lift the telescope by the eyepiece or the finder scope as they can be damaged easily. So before we use the telescope we need to remove any lens caps which will typically have one on top of the main telescope and sometimes there'll be one on in the eyepiece holder or on the finder scope as well. It's usually best to place those directly in the base so that they don't get lost in the dark. To move the telescope you can put one hand at the top of the tube and one hand on the side of the tube and just move the telescope left or right or up and down. The movement should be quite smooth and free. If it, you're finding it's too tight or too loose, it can be adjusted by changing these azimuth uh, altitude bearings on the side of the telescope or the azimuth bearing underneath the telescope. So to be able to observe anything, we need to have an eyepiece in and we can change eyepieces to change the magnification of the telescope. To change an eyepiece, slightly loosen the screws which are holding the eyepiece in now these should only be turned about half a turn to a turn. If you turn them any further than that, they'll fall out and they're very easy to lose in the dark. Once you take an eyepiece out, you can place it in the eyepiece holder on the side of the telescope so that they also don't get lost in the dark. If you wish to use a small 1.25 inch eyepiece, you will need to use the adapter that comes with it so that it fits in the eyepiece holder. And that can be placed back in the eyepiece holder and then just tighten firmly, it doesn't have to be very tight. To focus the eyepiece, you can use these two silver knobs on either side of the eyepiece focuser and you'll see that they move the eyepiece in and out. So the silver knobs give you a, a coarse focus and then once the stars or whatever you're observing is roughly in focus, you can use this black fine tuning knob to get a bit more precise focus. Alright, so now we're ready to start observing and to do that again we decide which target we're going to observe and then hold the tube, put your head right down against the tube and line it up roughly so that the object you're trying to observe is sitting just above the top of the tube. Because the telescope is so high magnification we have a low magnification finder scope on top which we can use to find the object more easily. If we've pointed it in roughly the right direction then you should with a small amount of movement be able to align the object in the crosshairs in the finder scope then once you've done that, it should line up in the middle of the main eyepiece. Once you have it in the main eyepiece, then you can use the focus knobs to make sure the object is in a nice crisp focus. Sometimes when you're observing, you'll find that the finder scope and the main optical tube aren't aligned correctly. And so when you get the object in the crosshairs in the finder scope, you won't be able to see it in the main telescope. I usually fix this at the start of the night. And the way you do this is by lining up the, finding the object and lining it up in the centre of the field of the view of the main telescope and then you can use these two black adjustment knobs on the top of the finder scope to move the object so that it's aligned with the crosshairs. Typically this will only need to be done at the start of the night but it's important to get that right so that once you find something in the finder scope it will be centred inside the main field of view.